Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan thousand three here and as you can see I'm here with another piece of paper my Spongebob lap desk once again and my pencil right here again and my eraser right here my color pencil is right over here and my previous Spongebob drawings Spongebob and Patrick and if you can tell by the title of this video Today, we are going to be drawing Squidward, Spongebob and Patrick's grumpy neighbor, but they really like him, but, but Squidward doesn't like them very much. <laughs> Alright, so Squidward, in my opinion, is going to be a very, very hard character to draw, so I have my phone with me, and I'm going to look at an image, you know, just so I don't get confused. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so... Okay, let's go ahead and draw my boy Squidward. <laughs> Man, okay, so let's go ahead and draw my boy Squidward. And, okay, so, <clears throat> so Squidward, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, so Squidward has, um, this kind of unusually shaped head. It's like, uh, let's see, it's like, um, it goes like this, and straight down a little bit, and then, like that maybe so let's draw Squidward's head all right we got Squidward's head a little bit and just like both Spongebob and Patrick Squidward obviously has um circle shaped eyes right around here so let's go ahead and draw Squidward's eyes all right there's Squidward's eyes and now let's draw his nose it's a very very long nose <laughs> so let's go ahead and draw Squidward's big nose really quick. Sorry, Squidward. Alright, there's Squidward's nose. And to be honest, Squidward looks so, like, horrifying and scary now. But let's go ahead and start adding some of his facial features. So let's go ahead and draw his eyebrows. Which Squidward is normally a very, very ticked off, mean character in Spongebob. So let's draw angry eyebrows on him really quick. Alright, there's Squidward's eyebrows and I even drew the little lines on his head. Alright, and now I'm going to draw his, um, his little pupil or whatever you want to call it. And they're actually like kind of rectangle shaped. Spongebob and Patrick normally have, um, little, um, circular shaped irises and pupils but Squidward has rectangle ones holy fudge did you hear that it's, oh, it's about ready to rain oh my gosh okay so let me draw um Squidward's um unusually shaped <laughs> pupils really quick all right there's Squidward's little um uh irises and now let's draw his mouth obviously Squidward's very very mad so we're obviously going to draw a frown on his face all right we got squidward's mouth now that's really starting to look a lot more like squidward <laughs> all right so we're going to draw his neck which obviously necks normally are yeah they're like lines or something and we'll also draw the little dots that squidward has on his head as well and as well as his neck as well. <laughs> Alright, there's Squidward's neck. And I also drew the little dots that are on top of his head. Oh my gosh, okay. So now we're going to draw his little shirt, which is like a, a tannish orange polo t-shirt. So let's go ahead and draw Squidward's shirt. Alright, I just got a little bit of Squidward's shirt. And now we're going to draw his arms, which obviously, like Spongebob's, they're very, very skinny lines, but Squidward has tentacles, hence the name Squidward, tentacles. So, yep, let's draw his, um, his arms really quick now. Alright, there's at least one of Squidward's arms. <laughs> Alright, and, um... I might need to fix up this hand, but 
Um, now let's go ahead and draw the bottom part of his body, and then I'll draw his other hand and arm all the way. Alright, I got that hand fixed, and I just drew, um, his other hand, I guess. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna go ahead and draw Squidward's, um, legs, so I'll be right back. Alright, I just finished doing Squidward's legs and feet, and that is actually pretty much all for Squidward. I think he actually looks very super good. I really, really love how he turned out. Alright, and I'm pretty sure you won't know what I'm going to do now. It's time to color Squidward. So, he has a black outline, I think, and he obviously has like a greenish color on his body like, kind of like a, a a toothpaste -ish kind of color and um he has a tan colored shirt on and he has um purple underside like he, he, underneath his tentacles are purple with darker purple spots or suction cups and his eyes are a bit yellow around here and kind of a dark red on that part so let me go ahead and color Squidward, and I'll be right back. And boom! There is Squidward all colored in, and he looks so awesome in my opinion. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure like what exactly the color of his body is, so I just used um, a turquoise color, and I used um, a dark teal for the little dots on his head. I also used a light yellow for here, I use mahogany for here, I use tan here, and just normal purple for the dots, and for that part, I just colored it lightly all around there. So, yep, that is how you draw and color Squidward. I think he looks very super good, and here he is with his two neighbors, <laughs> whom he doesn't like very much. But, um, yep, that's all for Squidward. Um, I'm very, very happy with how well he turned out. And he was actually fairly easy to do, in my opinion. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Squidward drawing tutorial. So, yep, goodbye everybody, have a great day, and peace out.